Welcome to the Sidra Intersection tutorial series. In this video, we'll give you a tour of the Site Phasing and Timing Input dialog in Sidra Intersection. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. Now let's begin. In the Add New Site group under the Site tab, click Signals and select At Grade Intersection to create an example site for this tutorial. Click the Layout command or double click the site name to view the layout picture. Then click Phasing and Timing under Site Input to open the dialog. The specifications given in this dialog will apply to timing analysis of individual signalized sites. Some aspects of these specifications will apply to sites in network analysis as well. The phasing and timing dialog contains multiple tabs. The dialog opens with the Sequence Editor tab in view. Let's first examine the Sequences tab. Here you can specify the signal analysis method and introduce phase sequences. You can add, clone, delete sequences, and change their order using the command buttons given in the Sequences section. The at grade intersection site includes several sequences by default. The data specified under other tabs of this dialog are for the selected sequence. You can edit the sequence name as you wish. Each sequence consists of a number of phases which can be edited in the Sequence Editor tab. The Sequence Editor tab consists of the Phase Selector and Phase Editor groups. The phases of the selected sequence are defined by specifying vehicle and pedestrian movements that run in each phase. Vehicle movements are specified by Movement class. Click the View Display button to open the default In Dialog display, which shows the complete phase sequence. Under the Sequence Editor tab, Direct Data Entry is permitted in this display. Click the down arrow to view other displays. Select No Display to close the In Dialog display. The selected phase box is shown in red. The image for the selected phase is displayed in the phase editor. You can use the right and left arrow keys on your keyboard for phase selection. Bring the mouse cursor over the movement symbols to see the description of the color code and the movement ID. By clicking a movement symbol, you can specify a movement as running or not running in a phase. In phase B2 in this example, click the right turn arrow on the east approach to stop the movement. Then, click the pedestrian symbol on the north approach to allow the movement in this phase. You can add a new phase, clone, delete or change the order of the selected phase using the command buttons given under the Phase Selector section. The Phase and Sequence Data tab includes the Phase Data and the Detection Data sections. If the Variable Phase checkbox is checked for one or more phases, the sequence will be treated as a Variable Phase Sequence. The program will analyze all possible phase sequences with variable phases, included and not included, and will choose a representative sequence corresponding to the demand volumes. The reference phase is used for signal coordination purposes in network timing analysis. A reference phase cannot be a variable phase. Phase time is the displayed green time plus intergreen time. Therefore, it includes the yellow time and all red time specified for the phase. The phase time specified for a given sequence will be used only if the Cycle Time option selected in the Timing Options tab is User Given Phase Times. The User Given Phase Times option is not allowed for a variable phase sequence. 
Phase frequency is the percentage of signal cycles when the phase is called. It has the program and input options. When input option is selected, the default value of 100% means the phase is called every signal cycle. To specify a dummy movement in a phase, check the Dummy Movement Exists checkbox. Dummy movements are needed occasionally in timing analysis. The Effective Detection Zone Length parameter is the effective length of the detection zone where a vehicle can be detected with use of in-pavement loops or other technology. If the Signal Analysis method selected in the Sequences tab is actuated, then the Actuated Signal Data Group will appear in the Phase and Sequence Data tab. For driving on the left-hand side of the road, major movements are the through and left turn movements, and minor movements are the arrow-controlled right turn movements. The Timing Options tab includes the Site Cycle Time option and Phase Time Options groups. Click the radio button to select the Site Cycle Time option to use. When the user given Phase Times option is selected, Phase Times given in the Phase and Sequences data tab will be used. Let's keep the Practical Cycle Time option in this example. Phase time options include an option to include or exclude lane blockage effects in determining the phase times in network analysis. The green split priority options can be used for the program to allocate high priority for green splits to coordinated movements or user-specified movements. Green split priority is not applicable when the user given phase times option is selected. The Advanced tab includes the Undetected Movement and Phase Transition settings, which can be used for vehicle and pedestrian movements where required. Use the radio buttons to select a movement class and the checkboxes in the Movement Data section to specify Undetected Movement and Phase Transition. This concludes our tutorial on the Site Phasing and Timing Input dialog in Sidra Intersection. Thank you for watching.